I picked up a couple of packages of these Magpul dummy rounds at Gander Mountain. You actually get five in a package for five bucks, so they're a dollar a piece. And they're pretty good. You can use them like the uh, snap caps. You can use them for your malfunction drills. Problem is, they're this grayish black and if you're using them and practicing the way you should and training the way you should, you're very likely going to end up losing some. So I'm going to do what Magpul should have done to begin with and try to remedy that situation and ignore the potatoes. Use that blue tape that doesn't leave much sticky residue and cover past the neck so that you're only going to have paint on the part of the uh, dummy round that won't be actually encountering any internal parts of your weapon. And then just pick a color. Orange or yellow or something like that. And don't go real thick. It's not going to take a lot to make them stand out when they fall on the ground. So now what you have is slightly safer and easier to find dummy rounds for doing your um, malfunction drills. And I just think it's a no-brainer. I don't understand why Magpul doesn't do this themselves. By the way, look at that product placement. So Magpul dummy rounds, well worth the money, but at a dollar a round, you don't want to lose them, so that's why you need to mark them. You know, now that I think about it, I think I like yellow um, because if I happen to pick up a mag and it's got yellow tipped ammo, I can know what it is. Red tip is going to be tracer and green tip is obviously green tip. Orange may be in a low light situation, easy to mistake for red, so maybe yellow is the way to go, yellow or white. Yellow is what I had, so yellow is what I did.